We have seen several tragedies involving children here in the new year, including the shooting death of seven-year-old Jasmine Barnes. The case has sparked a national movement, Justice for Jasmine. It's now been 24 hours since a sketch of her killer was released, and thanks to social media, it is now being circulated all across the country. Channel 2's Brandon Walker picks up the story. He joins us live in East Harris County. Brandon? And Bill, with that, Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez urges everyone to share that sketch early, share it often, because he says it's working in terms of the tips his office has received. 24 hours this sketch has been out there. 24 hours of leads, tips, says Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez. We are receiving a lot of tips, some uh, are duplicates. Still, they're coming. As investigators canvass the area near the crime scene, much of those tips we are told stemming from that single sketch. And then I have a book with eyes, lips, and noses, and they just give me the features. Renowned forensic artist Lois Gibson drew it yesterday after meeting with Jasmine's mother, LaPortia Washington, as well as two of Jasmine's three sisters. All of them were together, driving with mom on the Beltway near Wallsville Road when a man fired at them. During all this process, I try to make them as happy as they can be considering what they've been through. Gibson says the process was easy, believe it or not, especially because she interviewed children. For the most part, children, she says, tend to remember better. When I had it composed in good proportions, then I turned it around and showed them, and they didn't have me change n n almost nothing. Justice for Jasmine, Mom LaPortia says, acts as the family's driving force. I speak to them with pictures. Gibson feels it too. And then if we catch them, that's the, the best thing in the world. That's what we want. Lois Gibson's work has led to some 1,200 suspects being caught. Meantime, if you've got any information that could lead to a positive ID, you are urged to give Crime Stoppers a call. That number 713-222-TIPS. Live for you tonight in East Harris County, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Brandon. A Justice for Jasmine rally is being organized for tomorrow at the location where the shooting happened, and her funeral will be held on Tuesday. We have all these details for you on our website. Click to Houston.com.